Juneteenth this Saturday and Father's Day Sunday. Busy weekend. Chelsea Edwards is live at a black owned business to honor both holidays. Hello again. You can find coffee, vegan, and vinyl right here at Mo Better Brews. They're having their grand opening tomorrow on Juneteenth. We have co-owner here, Courtney Lindsay, once again, to chat with us with your little cutie pie. Little Kai Harper Lindsay. <laughs> so we're continuing our discussion of, of raising black sons in America. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that recent activism is uh, giving you hope? How do you feel about what's been going on? Uh, I mean, uh... Hope, you know, uh, is, is a strong word. Uh, I think that um, what we really have to focus on is what we do within. You want to talk? <laughs> is what we do within our own households, you know, uh, as well as uh, anybody that we, as, uh, you know, as black men can reach out to other young boys that may not have, uh, you know, a father figure or somebody that they can look up to. Just do our, our part to try to help them as well. Right. So, you know, our household is one, but also there's a lot of them you know, a lot of boys and men that, that don't have anybody to look up to. So I think it's also important to do that. Well, here is uh, somebody else you can look up to. We spoke to a uh, Houston dad, the founder of Black Men's Wear. They do, uh, they do pop-ups, flash mobs, and photo shoots to help change the narrative of black men in this country. Take a look. My name is Mayon J. Broussard. I'm the founder of Black Men's Wear. Uh, we started Black Men's Wear in 2017 as a way to shift the narrative of the African-American male culture and really highlight the true narrative of who we are as a people. I am uh, married with two children. I have two sons. Uh, I have a, uh, a five-year-old and a six-year-old. What perceptions are you battling when it comes to them? Community is, is built on, you know, it's pride, it's respect. Like, hey, if you come at me a certain way, I, I feel as though I'm now in a situation of conflict, and now I have to handle myself or address myself a certain way to be considered black enough, right? And so I think a lot of, a lot of what, you know, I'm trying to showcase to my sons is that, you know, there are different experiences out there and what makes you you is how you take all that stuff in. I mean, you can be, you can be bold, you can be a man, but you don't have to be uh, uh, overly aggressive with everybody just because you got to put your foot down and they got to know, hey, I'm the man, you know what I mean? But those are conversations that we're already preparing ourselves to have. One of the things that we do as parents is we try to expose our kids to a lot of different things. So that way, when they're in a different situation, they know that there's different ways that they can react to that and always thinking about getting home. You feel like those perceptions have been changing. With the loss of George Floyd, I think that actually fueled a lot of positivity within our community to kind of stand up for ourselves and be more optimistic and understand the control that we actually have when it comes to economics, when it comes to uh, uh, raising our families, when it comes to being, you know, uh, uh, community leaders and community activists. And so I really feel like over the last 18 months, we actually have strived a lot as it comes to strengthening our communities and really being at the forefront of and not being an afterthought. All right, some great coffee and conversation that we're having here. So if you want more of that, Courtney, where can they find you? You can find us at Mo Better Brews HTX on Instagram. We look forward to seeing you guys out tomorrow here at our grand opening. We're going to be opening the doors at 7.30, 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, and you guys have a wonderful Juneteenth and Father's Day weekend. For now, reporting live at Mo Better Brews, Chelsea Edwards, Fox 26 News. Thank you for that, Chelsea.